Hi, Lloyd Reaper here to demonstrate an early prototype of a multiple choice question app I've built. To learn more about this app, how it was programmed, and even what I think about multiple choice questions as an interaction strategy, please visit my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com. Okay, let me show you how this prototype works. Okay, let's begin the quiz. What is the capital of Georgia? Atlanta, I believe. That's correct. Notice how I have a little scoreboard up here showing how many questions and how I'm doing so far. Let's continue. What's the capital of Pennsylvania? That's my home state. I know it to be Harrisburg. All right. Capital of Texas. Hmm. Maybe it's Dallas. Ah, darn. The correct answer is Austin. Capital of Florida? Let's say that's Orlando. Nope. Wrong again. Tallahassee. And one more, the capital of New Mexico. Well, that is Santa Fe. All right, so didn't do so great. 60% correct. Now, let's see how I can improve this quiz a little bit. You might have noticed that we had some answers that uh, varied a bit from 3 to 5. We also had some pretty poor answer choices. So I'm going to go to the question bank. And the way this works is I have uh, all the questions in a text file and that quiz app simply takes those answers and plugs them into the, uh, to the quiz itself. So for example, I think Boston is a pretty bad choice here. Maybe I want to put in here uh, um, Augusta. Maybe also uh, instead of Austin, maybe I'll put in Birmingham as another choice. Okay, what else do we have here? Well, we have what is the capital of Texas? Well, I don't think New York and Pittsburgh are very good uh, options there. Let's change those. So instead of New York, I think I'll put in Houston. And I will take out Pittsburgh and put in San Antonio. All right. Now, you can also see that I have the option here to randomize answers during the quiz. So I have that um, turned on. Now, what are these other little numbers here, and why do I have the word end? Well, uh, this is simply using a format that I have to follow where the very first line is the correct answer of that particular question. So you can see of all the choices I have here, I have four choices, and choice number two, Atlanta, is the correct choice. Same thing here for the capital of Pennsylvania. You can see that I have number one, so the very first of all the uh, choices, Harrisburg, is the correct answer. Uh, I have the word end to simply signal to my little uh, app engine that that is the end of that particular question. Okay, now um, what happens if I actually have um, an answer that I don't uh, want to randomize? What if you know I would have the answers in a certain order? Well, here is an example. Let me go ahead and copy and paste in another question. So I'm going to go to the top here, and I'm going to just paste in another question that I had in a text file off to the side that you can see. So this one says, how far is it from Atlanta to Pittsburgh? And about 700 miles, or the third choice, is the correct answer. But you know, with a question like this, you really want to have all of those choices to be in that ascending order. So if you want to uh, override the randomization option, you just put a comma and then off. So let's go ahead and see how this uh, actually looks now. Let me click done. I'm going to begin the quiz. And we see that very first question comes up. And uh, they are in the uh, that ascending order, which makes, I think, uh, the most sense. Let me click continue. And now you'll see my other uh, questions that I had a moment ago have been updated. Capital of Georgia, that's correct. Capital of Pennsylvania, probably should have added some other choices here, but we'll just leave it with three, Harrisburg. Capital of Texas, a little harder now to choose. I know that the answer is Austin. Capital of Florida, uh, many people think it's Orlando because of Walt Disney World, but it actually is Tallahassee. And the last one capital of New Mexico is Santa Fe. And there you have it. All right, so that's it for now. Um, be sure to check my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com, later for updates to this and other live code projects.